What's up guys, it's Epic Tetsu, and I actually had an invitation to come try out this uh, game the other day. I didn't sign up for it, but I had an invitation. It's called Limbo Disco, and basically a muscular guy with a mysterious helmet goes to hell, DJing at Hell's Disco with demon girls and mercilessly killing other evil demons. So, let me show you some gameplay. So besides awesome tunes, there is some little story here. It says you are the best DJ in the world, no disco dares to say no to you. The day is a normal day and you are showing your excellent DJing skills. Suddenly something strange catches you. And so the mysterious vortex basically is growing larger in front of us. It drags me into the vortex, the turntables are just like out of reach, and some tentacles drag me into the abyss. Kill those demons, whispers come from the darkness. Kill those demons so you can keep DJing. So basically, yeah. Kill a bunch of demons, be a badass DJ, and listen to cool tunes while doing so. And now I'm like the superhero who entered hell. So, without further ado, let's check out some gameplay here. Alright, so as you can see starting out, it's just a really quick little tutorial. Like, it just shows you, hey, you just move this around, and you dodge some enemies, and, you know, you just fire these little bullets at them. So at first I was like, okay, well, this is pretty, you know, simple roguelike, and then you actually get skills. And I was like, okay. And so as you continue getting different kinds of skills and leveling them up, it kind of changes the gameplay a little bit. So the gameplay is incredibly simple, but for some reason it's actually really enjoyable. And normally I'm not really into these games too much. I played all this kind of stuff when I was younger, back in the Atari days, the Nintendo days, all that. I done been there, done that. But... This one's not bad. It kind of has like an Undertale vibe as far as like a little bit of the story so far and then like the music and everything. And then it's just got that simplicity of like, here's your basic game, just dodge enemies and you can shoot stuff, but it's all based on the skills that you pick. Alright, so I'm going to go ahead and cut some stuff out, and we're going to skip ahead so you can see some other stuff in different stages, and then an actual boss fight. Okay, so at stage 10, things started really getting fun and heating up, because you'll see it says explosion after death. So here come the enemies, and then you'll see they just start exploding, and then you get these dragons that start shooting like flames and fire around them and stuff. So, yeah. You can see how this can actually be kind of fun. It can be a really cool, just, you know, log in type chill game, do a few rounds of this or whatever. So, uh, I did find this to be very enjoyable. So, let's go ahead and show you an actual boss fight now. Alright, we are here for the Devil of the Turntable boss battle. So basically the 15th floor, as you can see stuff gets kind of wild here. I actually lost some health so it wasn't as easy as I thought it would be. And then of course I stupidly ran into the flame there. So yeah I died. It's in CBT and so as you can see I had to watch an ad for my revive, which I'll cut the rest out. Alright, so I'm going to let y'all finish watching this if you're interested in seeing how the battle turned out. Overall, um, it's an interesting game. If you like this kind of stuff or just looking for something extra chill when it comes out, uh, Limbo Disco is the name of the game. Uh, thanks to TapTap, Tap, I guess, for sending me an invite or the developer to check out this game. It was uh, pretty fun, pretty cool, and I might actually play some more of it. Anyways, guys, remember, be well, be epic, take care, and I'll see you soon.